I'm Harsha Pega. Welcome to Harsha Trainings. If you are aspiring to become a software engineer, how to plan your career? So many people, when they are studying at their eighth standard in the CBSC syllabus, we find that there is a curriculum has C language, Python language included. And when you come to the state syllabus, there is nothing like the programming languages included in the curriculum unless you are going to join your degree or respective uh, technical degree like BTEC or BE. So how to plan your career if you want to become a good software engineer? How to plan it from the beginning, from the childhood itself, which I mean to say like from 10th standard onwards or after the 10th standard onwards. If you want to become a good software engineer with good technical skills, and with good application development skills, you need to plan to learn the respective software technologies immediately after you complete your 10th standard. So once after you complete your 10th standard, you can think about learning some software technologies which can be used to develop many business applications. So what are the technologies to learn and what are the software programming skills that one has to acquire by the time they complete their graduation. So at what times that they have to plan to complete what uh, type of programming languages and all we need to think about. So now, well, so any one of you, if you wanted to become a software engineer, one must have to learn about three different types of programming languages or you say scripting and database querying languages. So those three are related to development of user interface, and defining the business logic and uh, creating the SQL database tables and queries. Why these three one have to learn? Because every web, web application that we see in today's world is combination of these three different layers. That is one is user interface. User interface means the one which we see. Suppose when we go to ATM, so there will be a display in the ATM machine that is UI and the information that we provide there will be collected into the business logic. So we need to learn behind the scenes the programming languages will be used in order to uh, transfer the data. So that we need to learn and also in order to store the data they will be maintaining in the back end that is called database. So we need to also learn database. So overall one has to focus on learning three different technical programming languages or scripts that are available. One is related to UI, one is related to business logic and one is related to database. If you are planning to do from your 10th, after your 10th standard, see if you are a student watching this video, you can plan like this. If you are a parent watching this video, you can guide your uh, kids to plan their career of studying the different software uh, courses or different software tools that are available in the market in this way okay so first one once after the 10th standard is completed everyone can focus on learning the business logic so first we are going to focus on learning the business logic related programming languages so why i am saying here programming languages if we start learning the programming language our uh, technical analytical skills also will get improved. So first learning a programming language. What is the basic programming language that we have to learn? So every one of you, you can focus on learning C language because C language is fundamental programming language which one has to learn in order to understand and learn easily the advanced programming languages that are available in the market. So when you are completed with your 10th standard, immediately you have to focus on learning C programming language. So during the 10th, uh, during the intermediate first year, that is plus one uh, or either plus two, of course, if you are already done with plus one by this time, so you focus on doing it at the plus two or if you are done with plus two by this time you're watching the video, at least you focus from engineering graduation first year itself, whatever the time uh, is comfortable for you, just go ahead and make sure you are going to follow in this order of learning. So first you need to learn by the time your intermediate first year is getting completed, you have to learn C programming language and be thorough with that. Once the C programming language is done, at the second year of intermediate, focus on learning either Java or Python or C sharp. 
any one of these three not the three many people we see that they are learning java plus python that is not required so learn any one of these three because all are object oriented programming languages more or less learning one you should be able to adapt easily the other technology and you can self learn the second one so learn python why python because these days python has a lot of boom and it will be there for sure in future also because of its so many characteristics ease of programming and all so every one of you i suggest you to learn python once after the completion of c programming language so learning python with uh, after learning the python you have done completion of c language as well as python two programming languages one is structured programming language other one is uh, object oriented programming language so with the knowledge what you have gained here now your focus should be shifted to learning user interface languages so that is try to focus on learning only fundamental core user interface scripting languages those are html programming language javascript css learning these three you can do it at your uh, plus 2 or you call it here intermediate intermediate second year so now your focus should be shifted to Uh, learning user interface technologies so at your btech or be or any degree first year first semester you try to focus on learning html programming language css and javascript so once after you complete this at your first year second semester now try to do a project which is combining the user interface technology what you have learned and the python programming language what you have learned in the previous year so ui you create and integrate your user interface technology with the python that you have learned so now in the web application development you have completed learning of two layers now at second year first semester focus on learning database you can learn any databases that are available in the market mainly you can learn either ibm db2 or sql server or oracle uh, database or you can learn even mysql also but do not learn two or three the same uh, database related servers learn any one of these three so once after the completion of learning the respective database uh, uh, tool or let's say database server you can go ahead and combine these three now the python user interface and database first ui will come in the front end and in the business logic python and in the back end database now you create one web application at your second year second semester or maybe uh, whatever the time that is uh, available with you you go ahead and create one complete project take at least one year so by the time you are going to enter into third year or by the time you complete third year first semester you should be in a position to develop one web application at least utilizing these three programming languages one is related to user interface other one is for business logic and the third one is for database so doing like this what is the advantage why you need to learn only core fundamental programming languages related to these three different layers see these are the very fundamental programming languages which will be used to develop any of the tools that are available to solve the business solutions that will be used by the industries means if you directly start learning uh, a tool or uh, let's say a database reporting tool without learning the uh, fundamental sql skills without having sql skills you might be learning the tool but you will not be perfect and as you do not have fundamental skills you will not be perfectly learning you will not be able to perform well or you will not be able to be an expert in that so having good fundamental skills you can move on to any direction in the software field you can move on to learning the tools which are related to only ui development or learning the tools which are built based on the business logic or learning the tools like reporting tools and some other tools which are built based on fundamental sql core concepts or any tool which is built based on combination of all of these three you can even go to data science as you have learned python and you can extend your knowledge to go into data science field and you can uh, just Uh, uh learn data science and you can master the data science easily as you have good fundamental skills so that is the reason why i have told you to learn all of these three fundamental programming languages related to ui business logic and database so if you are going to plan like this and you are going to focus 
to plan uh, uh, to learn these uh, respect to technologies after your the completion of your 10th standard itself by the time you complete your engineering you will become an expert maybe the fourth year whatever that you are uh, going through or the third year in the respect to degree the final year you can develop your own project by taking any iit papers uh, and you can provide solutions to uh, the problems mentioned in the iit papers by yourself without looking for anyone else help or you can present your own paper also which has been designed by you so and try to identify always the problems that we have around us and try to create the solutions with this programming language whatever you learn your technical skills will get improved your programming skills get will get improved and you will become number one in the field of software when you have good fundamental skills okay so every one of you thank you for watching the video if you like the content please share this video with your friends and family members and to all your connections and like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching